Do they just have this. a warehouse oh, full no. of them, please. All, I, I'm just dropping all of these copies of Nintendo arms. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have enough arms to hold them. <laughs> but we are oh, the Greninja. Yeah, the Greninja pick is interesting. And I like Greninja a lot as a, in theory, playing against him, very difficult. But in theory, Greninja covers a lot of just troublesome issues with not only the current metagame, but also a lot of consistent player habits. But the character is fast. The character can has an insane jump, safe aerials, good pressure, and a combo starting dash attack, which which natively 50-50s itself because you either do it or you don't while you're on the ground dashing back and forth. Also, if you did notice, um, I did see that the little water shuriken negated the uh, top, which I think is going to be very helpful in this matchup. Uh, absolutely, it negates the top top toss, but unfortunately, you do uh, you are victim to a lot of the same edge guarding traps that Rob does against a lot of characters, and especially characters without a hitbox on the recovery, which Greninja doesn't really have. Yeah, like Shadow Sneak, kind of. It's a little too linear. Oh yeah, it's it's not the best, and with the end lag on it, is free picking for any sort of punish that uh, Dill chooses to go with. But Vivi, they're playing around their win condition a little bit, almost too obviously. It's been a lot of uh, full hop into either landing there or empty hop down tilt, which, hey, pretty good. But Dill has seen this rodeo many many times over and multiple from multiple different players that they know what to expect. Right. Ooh. Ooh. That was nice. And when they finally get it, they finally get it. Yeah, I mean, you just it's what you're looking for. And if you're fishing for it, eventually you got to make good on what you're fishing for, which VB certainly did. Oh, the DI cross up. Ooh. Landing top into Bear, getting VB across the stage. And they're have, going to have to hold a massive, massive uh, deficit going into the, their final stock. Wow, very interesting how we're seeing Dill challenge what is normally a very one of the safest aerials in Greninja's kit, this landing fares. They've been going for a lot of fares out of shield in response, knowing that Vivi has been pretty jump happy. Mm -hmm. And honestly, the range is good enough to cover most of the options. Oh. Alright, you get a little bit of combo here, respecting Dill's ability to tech the mix up, so instead you're just looking to set up uh, different levels of 50-50s in midair. But unfortunately, you lose the you lose one coin flip and you're at oh. neutral. And so you remember when I was saying there was no hitbox on that recovery? Yeah. <laughs> this makes uh, exactly this option from Dill run off arm rotor. Uh, it's the freest thing in the world. You just go for it. Like, what are they gonna do about it? Oh yeah. No, I mean that, that what that was uh, stock one and stock three. Oh. Yep. Yuppity yuppity up. And wow. What is the option here from VV? I'm saying character switch. Uh, no. Never mind. They commit. I am wrong. Commentator's curse and commentator's blessing. It's a, like, I get it, though, right? Like, you yeah. want to practice the Greninja. You don't feel confident in hero, Rob. Fair enough. Hero's a little slow, and you're not going to try and outzone Rob. Ah, all right. Two. Oh, my God. What a strong opening. 54%. Yeah, you're playing. You're trying to up the tempo, and Greninja theoretically does that the best. It's just a matter of executing. This is a punish. Okay. That's so I do think something that they're doing a lot better this round is instead of like just narrowing into the shield, they're kind of narrowing away, or well, they're just not doing that because they yep, right like right there. Yeah, they're doing a lot more cross-ups natively to play around exactly these fares out of shield, and then when even they like the little empty hop to you yeah. know, so they're not like going to be punished like out of shield. All right. Yeah, you gotta you gotta keep mobile as Greninja. We're getting stuck in shield at all. Oh, caught that, but didn't go for the up smash afterwards. BB in a strong position, but still playing around that nair range as well as possible. Oh, this is big. Dash attack into the corner, calls oh. out the landing nair. Small with a laser into big laser. It's utilization of these platforms. It's why Rob loves both small and normal battlefield. You're able to use these platforms as roofs above your roofs above your head, and catch any aggressive landing in sight. Do you think there would have been a safer stage selection for Greninja? Um, depending on the bands, maybe. Like, Greninja usually loves very flat stages, but if Kalos and Battle, if Kalos and FD are banned, then most, do you they really want to, yeah, then like, do you really want to play against 
uh, Rob on Town and City and be even more like awkward with that. Mm, yeah, good point. Yeah, it, it it becomes sort of a preference, and it feels like Vivi's still figuring out some stage selection. I, but you know the the gameplay at the very least is there. Well, too high for that. You've got to start playing the 50-50 game, or just there call go. out a gyro toss with another forward air jumping over said gyro. 103. Oh, all right, around the world. Ooh, okay. Good job going over that. Gotta save these jumps when you can. Back air into dash attack, reading oh, the air dodge. Nice little jab. Cute. All right. Got some good damage going on here, but Vivi needing a whole lot more than that. You can peck away with mini water shurikens for uh, as long as you need, though. Oh, no jumped way. Right into it. No laser to follow uh, up. Yeah. Checkmate. Kick me. Yeah, I mean, it's the. All right. <laughs> Man, Vivi's missing some of the... I wonder if he's going for parries or just trying not to get caught in shield. But either way, Dill's pressing buttons like just all over Vivi. And they're getting they're getting clipped and connected by so many of these. The damage, nickel and diming. So, oh, my God. Exactly Rock in a hard place. Man. You nickel and you dime and you set up for one of Rob's many, many... Uh, speaking of dime, let me get that dime out for you. Many... Uh, kill scenarios and that. Oh, wait, no, I won. Yeah, Dill. you won. That's uh, right. Okay. Give me your wallet. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you a dollar. I will not give you my wallet. I'll take that. <laughs> Dollar's a dollar. Uh, so, you know what? Save it for next time. We'll do double or nothing. <laughs> sure. You got it. You got it. Um, but, yeah, I mean. It was yeah, I do think that he was going for a lot of the parries. Oh, yeah, that was an unfortunate spinning top, though. Yeah, it's rough, right? You're playing a matchup. Probably You're playing this matchup probably for one of the first times, and... As you slowly but surely try to force things, you try and open things up, you try and like land a dash attack, like because Greninja lives off of like catching 90s right. and 50 50s. If you're not able to get those, then suddenly you have to deal with Rob just like battering you away now and again and just getting these small advantages until right. they lead to those kill setups. And you know, there we are. Yeah, there we are. <laughs> like the reason Rob is so good is that he finds his kit is built to slowly chip away and then exploit you with one of his many, many kill setups. Nair into side B, a gyro into side B, any sort of the double toss stuff, uh, down throw mix-ups. And yeah, we you saw didn't see any down throws yeah. there. I was surprised. Hard to grab Greninja. But yeah, that's true. Pinning Greninja between a gyro, much easier, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about movement. It's all about spacing. And Dill has had many, many years to practice th th those exact theories, even if it's in a, through a different channel like Rob. Exactly. So who is up next? Uh, who's up next is going to be a caster swap wow, wow, for wow. us as we're going to trade out for Player 4 and Munel. Munel. Oh, Munel. fantastic. Can't so, wait to see them. Yeah, we're going to head to a quick ad break, so don't touch that dial. Some more Smash Action is going to come your way right at this.